Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I am now going to do the rest of my face. And for that, what I do now, my new routine, is I take my Naked Skin um, Urban Decay thing and, and shake it up, of course. And I dab some on my hand. Next thing I'm going to do is take my Clinique um, Moisturizer Surge and um, BB Cream. I actually mix these together. And I need to hurry before it gets a little bit... Before it runs everywhere. Put, dab that all over my face. And please excuse my uh, new family member who is not welcome. I did not know she was coming for dinner. <laughs> And then, of course, I'm going to go down the neck. Because the neck is important. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my Kat Von D foundation brush in number, this number 10, um, which I really do like this brush for foundation. You saw me use it in a couple of other videos, I think. I've had this for a little over a month, I think. Maybe uh, a little bit shorter, I could be wrong. I I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, like I said, I've been sick. I've just been uh, recovering from a cold. And I'm just now starting to get over it, I think. But, I don't really have any goals for 2017. I pretty much did all I wanted to in 2015. No, 16. Well, part of 2015 and part of 2016. I lost my weight. I, um... Got off a few prescription medications slowly. It's not like I quit cold turkey. I did quit cold turkey on one. Don't do that. Don't ever do that because I was stupid and I didn't know the risks of quitting cold turkey. I mean, I'm glad it happened. I'm glad I got that out of the way and over with, but just, um, just for your sake, you know, um, don't do what I did. Consult, consult a doctor, you know, get help for it, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is um, what I did with my eyes today. I did the um, Kat Von D side. Maybe tomorrow I will do the um, Too Faced side. 
of the Mint More Softener. The only color that I did not use in the Kat Von D was the Darling one. The, um, that nice gray right there. But yeah. This is going in my palette drawer. I'm so super excited. Okay. So, uh, see, my nose is starting to run. I'm trying not to, like, you know, touch it or anything. Cause that's number one, that's gross. And number two, I just don't want to touch it. <laughs> um, so now what I do is I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and the white is gone. That highlight is, like, gone. It's like, bye-bye. Um, yeah, I loved, as you guys saw, if you did see, um, I loved the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I think that is my new go-to liner, and my mom should try it too, because, oh my god, like, it is just, like, it's really what I've been looking for, to do the wing liner. Because every other wing liner that I have tried, <clears throat> did you just hear that in my voice? Tried. <laughs> my voice just crack. I need water. Some on my chinny chin chin. And then I take my uh, contour brush from Real Technique number 301. And I know it's really dirty and disgusting. I'm sorry. I know that I need to, uh, I need to, um, clean most of my brushes. The only thing about this, whoa. Okay, I will, I always drop something in my videos, always. The only thing about the Kat Von D Cream Contour Kit is that I think that it's very, um, very dry. The cream is, the cream is very dry, and it's not really that opaque, in my opinion, and I think a lot of other people have said that too. It's just not one of my favorites, and I want to get the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light palette very soon. I'm actually going to contour my forehead this time, even though I hardly ever do because I think it's a pain in the butt. I'm trying hard not to cuss. Um, I don't know, I just don't find cussing classy anymore. Um, you know how, like, when you're a teenager and you think that, like, cussing is the coolest thing in the world, and then you kind of grow out of it, at least I grew out of it a little bit, like, I cuss when it's necessary, I don't think that there really is a necessary time to cuss, but, you know, like, I don't cuss in every single sentence or, like, in every phrase that I use where I find as teenagers today, they, uh, which not just today, I mean, I know I did too, like I said, when I was a teenager, I cussed like a sailor, um, but now, like, I don't know, I just don't find it, I don't like it, I don't like throwing the F-bomb out there in, like, every conversation or in every sentence. This is also a Real Techniques brush. This is great for contour and for um, blending like your concealer and stuff. And yeah, this brush I use every single day. This is like my holy grail brush. I don't know how I've lived that long without it.
and I hear noises. I think my brother is up. But, uh, anyway, yeah, then just blend, blend, blend. And you have to blend a lot, too, with this contour, I feel. I don't like doing the forehead. And get the make sure you get on that hairline, and that's real attractive. Okay. Now for the blush, and I think what I'm going to do for the blush is I'm going to use Rapture by Urban Decay. And it's this really, really pretty, like, purple mauve color. It came like this, like, all cracked and stuff. But yeah, that's what the color looks like. Really, really pretty. And again, I'm going to take another Real Techniques brush. This big fluffy pink one right here. That I think a lot of people use. And their blushes, you guys, are pretty, like, pigmented. So, use with caution. Next, I'm going to do what highlighter should I use? This is a dilemma when you don't know. You know, I'm going to give this another try. I always kick myself when I do because it's never. This is the Makeup Revolution highlighter in um, Peach Lights. And I'm going to take, oh, this is also good for highlighting, too. I use it for highlight all the time. You yeah, see, there is no product coming up. And nothing is happening. I think there is a little tiny, tiny bit of a shine. But I do not like this this um, highlighter. I was about to say blush. This highlighter. Let's try Aura by Urban Decay. This is nice highlighter. <sighs> Again, like not much shows up, but it's pretty much the same con uh, concept of peach lights. 
it's this like um really pinky oh yeah way more highlighter comes on from this oh that is nice oh yeah look at that glow yeah you can definitely see it right now I'm gonna put a little bit of it on my nose a little bit of it on my chin I don't think I liked this highlighter at first either but for some reason it's really picking up now I really like it. Nice, it's nice. Okay, that is it for the highlight. Now I'm going to do my brows, and this is the part that I hate the most of doing makeup because I just do not like doing my brows. I don't know why. But I just take this crappy eyeshadow from Revlon and I think it's because I don't have a technique down yet for my eyebrows, so please excuse that. I just throw something on and I'm not really about eyeshadow being on fleek yet. So, I've been practicing, I just don't, I don't do it like every day. <clears throat> so my eyebrows, they're not that bad, but I'm actually going to take this. Real Techniques brush. Where'd it go? I can find it. This big, nice, fluffy brush that I love just to kind of smooth some stuff out. About the highlight, of course. You don't want to smooth the highlight out. Since I am using Kat Von D, let's go with one of her lipsticks. And which one is this? I am blind and cannot see. Oh, that one is prayer. I don't know who I want prayer. Um, this one is this one wolf's mouth. This one's wolf's mouth. Do you want prayer, wolf's mouth, or which one is this one? Homegirl. I think I like homegirl. So this one is homegirl. And it almost looks black, and it's this nice, dark, dark, like, The sucky thing is, I don't know if I like her lipsticks. I hate saying that, like I want to, but I think this is the only thing of her product that I am disappointed in, is her lipsticks. They're a little bit drying. And a little bit patchy, at least this one is. I love Slayer, like, uh, no, not Slayer, um, Ni Nyan, Nyan, I think it's called. Yeah, this, like, black sparkly color. I love this one. This one like goes on pretty good and I use it quite a bit. Um yeah, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of dark lips. I will rock a black lipstick every day. Um I've been wearing Weirdo a lot by Jeffree Star. And I know a lot of people don't like him, but someone on YouTube said they don't like the drama that surrounds the beauty community, and I'm the same way. I I just like the makeup, okay? Just let me live. 
let me live in my makeup. Now to finish it off, I am going to use the Urban Decay setting spray and chill because they're always out of they're always out of the all nighter one. Okay, and there you have it, the finished look with the Too Faced Better Together palettes with Kat Von D. And then just undo your thing and let your hair down and yeah, see that one is like a lot better than this one and that always happens. But you know what? I'm actually not mad at my wing liner. I think it did pretty good in most days. But um, yeah, this is my completed look with a new... With this one right here. This beauty right here that I love. Absolutely love. Anyway... Okay, you guys, I hope that you guys have a great New Year's, and I will see you next year. Um, have a happy party, holiday, whatever. Um, anyway, bye, guys.